So here we are again with Paper Mario Master Quest. I just finished up Chapter 2 in the last part, and uh, now I think I'm about to go and have to fight Buzzer, because if it works just like in Pro Mode, I'm gonna have to fight him now. Uh, per now. And with that in mind, let's see what we've got for this beast. First off, I can take off Quake Hammer. That will be totally useless. Um, speedy Span is totally useless, but it's 0 BP, so it can stay on. Uh, I don't really want to get used to the HP that I have right now. Um, but what items do I have? Do I have anything that I can use? Oh, I, I, I have an Ultra Shroom, a Super Shroom. <laughs> I think I'm okay on healing. I'm going to stick with the HP Plus for this fight, though. Um, hammer Throw? Yeah, keep on Hammer Throw. It's a flying enemy. Power jump, sure, let's keep that on. Um, close call, damage dodge, good good badges to have on, so keep them on. Um, yeah, so there's not really anything I need to add on. I don't want to use Gambler's Jump. Um, it gets better with upgrades, but right now it doesn't seem to be that good, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it off. Uh, to be honest, there's really nothing else I can... There's nothing else I can equip for this fight. Uh, I could charge the hammer and then do one big hammer throw. Is that really worth it? Probably not. Alright, I think I got what I want. Uh, I guess I'll throw back on Dizzy Attack since I don't really have anything else I want to equip. Um, also, take out Bombette, put in Paracarry, 15 FP, let's roll. I could have taken off Power Jump, actually, and with that I could have put on, and Dizzy Attack, I could have put on FP+. Plus. But let's see how this goes. Oh wait, I want Goombario out first. Can I fake it again? I'm not fooling you again. Uh, Alright. Swap to Goombario. And then we'll tattle. Wait, what? I'm paralyzed? Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Safe. Okay. Didn't do a lot of damage there, so that's good. Um, no. Hammer throws my, my way to strike. Five damage. 55 HP to start. Okay, I think this should be fine. Should be a-okay. Actually use refresh twice this fight, so let's use refresh. Use shell shot. Times and a dizzy dial him. Yeah, let's try dizzy dial. Just I can always get another one. No. I have a feeling you'd get me there. She. What? What? Wait. What? What? What was that? What was that? Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. Got 
paralyze me, and then do another attack. Look, I'm gonna say it, this is cheap. This is absolutely cheap. Okay. Okay. Alright, never mind. I thought this would be nice and simple. Apparently it's not. Apparently Buzzer can attack twice sometimes, or maybe as she gets lower on HP she can... Okay. Okay. Uh, shell shot. Second attack really throws me off. This isn't good. You know, I regret not getting feeling fine at this point. Um, I don't want to use the Ultra Shroom. I'm gonna use a Super Shroom. I just need to get Refresh off next turn, and I'll be fine. This, this should be fine, as long as I don't get stunned, and as long as Paracarry doesn't get knocked out, I should be fine. Actually, this is probably the best attack, because this one doesn't, uh, doesn't paralyze me. Okay. Refresh. Get back up to 20 HP. After all that, and uh, then Paracarry will finish Buzzer off. Okay, here we go. I'm actually a little surprised I made it out of that alive. Close call, close call kicked in there. And uh, it ended up working out. Um, I think that's good. I'm definitely not gonna fight Wacka. Because that would be suicide. Wacka's a beast. No, no, I'm not fighting these guys. Probably only give like one star point piece right now. Okay, so, first order of business when I get back to Toad Town. What's gonna be, what am I gonna do there? Like I said in the last part, there are a few things I'm gonna do in this part, so this is gonna be a lengthy, long, super long part. Probably not that long, but it'll be pretty long, I think. Um, Alright, uh, I'm gonna deal with you in just a second, man. Just hang on. <clears throat> Uh, do I want Gumbario's charge attack? Do I want to ch I'd rather be able to dizzy enemies. I think. Yeah, I think I'd rather... Well, then again... I think I'm gonna go with Goombario or Cooper. I actually don't know which one to pick. Alright, I'm gonna pick Goombario. Because if, like, if I charge three times, assuming it works like promo where I can only charge three times, I'll be plus six. It'll do like 16 damage with Goombario in one turn. Well, actually, it'll really be like four turns, but. Could work if I need to get like it's something like buzzer actually where 
She apparently, the lower her HP got, the more attacks she did, so it would have been better if I knew, well, if I happen to know how much HP she, before that triggers, and then use Gumbario right before that to really bring her HP down. Like, something like that, charge would be good for. Um, see, because in Chapter 3, are there, there's not really a lot of ground enemies, are there? Wait, no, yes, the, this there is. They're, they're the hyper go Yeah, let's, let's use, let's get Dizzy Shell up. Actually, all the flying ones in Chapter 3 are, um, para, para Hyper Boombas. I mean, and whatever else this mod adds. Because no doubt there's other stuff the mod adds. Um, alright, let's throw out Para Carry. Jump on this guy. Actually, I should have dizzied him. Shell shot. Uh, how much HP? I thought I tattled these guys. Yeah, didn't I tattle these guys? I mean, I know at some point I, I did die. Yeah, I died to Wacka, so I didn't. Um, you know what? Hang on. Let me, let me run away. Did I forget how much HP they even have. Um... You just went through the... Through the stuff. Okay. Alright, so like only 3 HP, that's actually really, really... Really good. Damage dodge, they can't even hurt me as long as I hit my guards. Okay. And then one more hammer throw. I get a mushroom for my trouble. Uh, come on, let's let's do this. I didn't even move when I went to the. Dude, you gotta stop doing that. Okay. Um. So. Take out the two good ones, and then the dizzy one I can take out next turn. And there we go, it's a free fight. Now I'm gonna bother with the heart block, I'm gonna rest when I get back to Toad Town. So. Make a save here. Let's grab these coins. And an egg. Which I'm going to cook into something. I know the mushroom makes that item that heals 6 HP and 4 FP, whatever it's called. So let's see what the egg makes. Gotta remember I can speed this up. Okay. Cool. Um... Was this always here? This little part of the world? I mean, I know the back here, but like this this specific area, the non-grass part, I never noticed. Huh. Um. Well, let's uh, let's see. I have plenty of coins, so I don't need to do the coin game right now. I will buy whatever badges though, and then maybe I'll have to do the coin game. We'll see.
What? Static stomp. Damage one enemy. And inflicts paralysis. Oh, okay. Let me grab that. Gamblers smash. I'll buy it, but I don't, you know, like the... Like, it says there's, there are upgrades for it, so, like, when I get those upgrades, maybe they'll be good. But for right now, if I'm being honest, it's just... I don't know, it's kind of... They're kind of... They're kind of whack, really. Like, I, I like the idea of them, but... I don't know. Like, I used it on Tudin Koopa, like, a... I got, I did like, ended up doing like, you know, jump twice, or three times maybe even. And out of all those, it didn't do the extra damage once. And nothing in the badge shop. I think there are less badges available each chapter. Maybe, uh, maybe this mod just spreads them out a bit more and I'll get badges all the way up to like chapter 7 or 8. Because after chapter 5, I think, is when the shop starts, stops getting badges. Um, so let's head over to, I want to head over to that new area, actually. I just want to look around, too. Like, I want to make it a point to really, like, explore every single part of an area just to see if there's anything, like, hidden away. Because, like... It just, uh, you know, you never know with this mod. And then I want to go to that new area, and since I have the super hammer now, I can break that stone block. Here we go. Let's see what else this area holds. A Goomba. Alright, I mean, to me that seems a little weird because, like, it's a Goomba. I'll take care of him in a minute. Just in case there's, like, another enemy there that's new or something. Um, okay, a Super Shroom, that's nice. Can I blow up this door or something? No. Um, I guess that's just scenery. Is there anything over here? Alright, Goomba, listen, I'll fight you, I'll fight you. Alright, let's go. What do we got? Two chomps! Alright. You know what, guys, just hang on one second, please. I just need to pull up Goombario and tattle you. What are we talking? We're talking 7 HP, right? I had forgotten. Alright, so Quake Hammer is the best way to deal with them. I don't really know how much defense they have. So I'm gonna pull out Cooper and hope he can dizzy him. I also gotta put on Quake Hammer. jump and take off, I don't know, hammer throw. Let's just see if I even can dizzy them. Yes, I can. I'm already liking my choice to get dizzy, shell. Okay. I mean, they can do a lot of damage, but should be okay. One damage left. Um, I 
can use Paracare to see how much defense they have. Um, Shell Shot. Shell Shot normally does six. Yeah. Two, so they have four defense. Okay. Come to think of it, um, Power Bomb does six to all enemies. And if I remember right, I did two to them, so I already actually knew they had four defense. Mushroom, got a bunch of coins. Oh, but is that it? Man, I was looking forward to seeing more. Unless at some point I can get behind here. And this leads to somewhere. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, alright. So it's cool that there is an extra little area there. And a chomp fight. Um, so... I have the... I can get that, that repel gel, actually. So let me go do that. Actually, no, first I want to fight Boober, because then I can get there much quicker, so... We'll do that. We'll go and fight Blooper now. Unless there's something else I want to do. There's something else. I also, have, I also have to get the tape for Koopa Koop. Don't think I forgot about that. I'm just exploring everything. I'm going to talk to you if you have any information for me and you don't. Um, what about you, Master? Do you have anything you want to say to me? I really don't mind fighting him at this point since, you know, trying, since I died. Assuming he works the same way as he does in pro mode, um, I already know how to deal with him, kind of. I'm gonna wait until later, though. I don't, I don't actually feel like fighting him right this second. There's plenty I can do in this part already. I'll save him for, uh, uh between chapters part where there isn't much going on. Um, so yeah, let's let's rest back up. I have a ton of star pieces too. Okay, so I'm going to see what I've got for Blooper. I did just get something that will, up, that will let me paralyze him. Potentially static jump. Um, so you know, what, let's put that. We'll, we'll give that a shot in this fight. And let me just see item-wise what I've got. Want to want to save that ultra shroom for later. So I'm going to. Yes, I want you to cook um, the egg. And the mushroom, for that matter. Fried egg, 10 HP, cool. It basically turns an egg into a super shroom. Um, we'll cook these two mushrooms. Should I cook the super shroom, too? Let's see. Cook the mushroom. I'm gonna cook the super shroom. That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. But it's done. So, I shall keep it. Um, okay, let me get a dizzy dial for blooper. 
because it works pretty well in the normal game, and I think even in promo too it works. I'm also gonna grab a super shroom. Um, I don't really need items to damage him. And do I have FP healing items, or should I go and get a honey syrup? I have the lime. I don't want to use the lime. I don't even want to be tempted to use the lime, so I'm going to... to check it. Um, and I don't even want to be tempted to use the Ultra Shroom either, so check that. <clears throat> and... Then we're gonna head up here and get myself a honey syrup. Is there a, wait, do they sell honey syrups here? I don't remember if I remember seeing them. Wait, no, they have soup wait, super sodas. Hold on. No, no, I don't even need the scrappy honey syrup. Super sodas, they heal FP. I think they heal like 10 FP, right? Let me grab let me, what am I doing? Go back to the other shop, the better shop. Right, I'm pretty sure they heal FP. Stores, yeah, that's better than a honey syrup, so yeah, let's do that. Curious drinking or poisoning, and I think... I think in pro mode, Blooper can poison you, so if it's like that here, there we go, I've got... got a way out. Alright, this is excellent. I have to tattle, of course. Well, that reminds me, as soon as I get quick change, which hopefully comes after Chapter 3 like it normally does. In fact, I may even, after I get Super Jump, come back. I'll have to do that Junior Troopa fight. Come back and get Quick Change, because this way I can just tile with Mario and not have to waste a turn switching him out. Um, I think I got everything I need, so let's go for the blooper fight. Isn't there a save block here? Over here. Alright, um, I am going to fight all the bloopers, but I'm going to be saving the one here for last, the Shrink Stomp one for last. I want to fight that as late as I can. Um, got everything I need, I got Gumbario, out for the tattle. Uh, Alright, let's roll. Blooper. Alright, just blooper. This is a blooper. Doesn't seem all that special. 45 HP. Let's give this a shot first. Okay. I'm liking this new attack already. I don't have any other way to attack with Mario, though, outside of a jump, which doesn't do much. Um. Air carry? It also costs 4 FP. Let me dizzy him. Yeah, that still works well on him. Refresh. Um, yeah, refresh. Luther hasn't even gotten one attack off yet. Poor guy. Um. I guess I'll use one of the super sodas. Yeah, let's use one. They don't really cost that much. Um, it said it heals 7 FP though. It restores 7 FP. But it just gave me 5 FP. 
Okay. Alright, I guess that's a bug or something. Something not put in correctly in the code or whatever the heck it is. So, let's just leave that as it is then. Um, gonna... Wait, but didn't it say 5 FP, though, in the shop? Yeah, it said 5 FP in the shop. Because I think I said it's like honey syrup, but better because it cures drinking and poisoning. So, no, the description in battle was wrong, but the shop one was right. Right? I'm so confused. No, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna let him attack me. See what he does. That's pretty unremarkable, if I'm being honest. And then let's use Paracarry to do that. I assume that's supposed to inflict some type of status. Which reminds me, I want Feeling Fine. I forget if Feeling Fine is in the Star Piece shop still. Okay, cool. Um, so it goes from right to left, right, in terms of chapters. So let's start with Gooba Village. So I can go and take a quick nap. No Chuck Quizmo here. But I'll get that Repel Gel while I'm here. Oh, also the Shooting Star. Assuming that's still there. Star, cool. And uh, that could have actually really helped me in the Tutan Koopa fight. Normally I'd get it after chapter one, but I just completely forgot. Um, let's just check this area. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I had a hunch that there was gonna be something here, but. Okay. Alright, I like it. Um, I, I saved, right? Let me just make sure I save before I go in there and get killed by a Koopa Troll, Dark Koopa Troll, that's just hiding there. With 50 HP and 15 attack. And 10 defense. And I don't have a pal block to flip him on the shell. Okay, this is this is what I was looking for. More more hidden nice new areas to, to Oh my god. Okay. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um Okay. Alright, there's a Goomba there. I mean you can get to this like right away, so I assume these enemies aren't gonna be too strong. Um, I'm gonna take off Static Jump, though. Actually, I'm gonna take off HP+, Plus because I don't really want to get used to having 20 HP at all times. Otherwise, it's gonna just tempt me to upgrade HP, and... Uh, so Quake Hammer. Um, hammer Throw. I had Hammer Throw on. Hammer Throw was a good one. Power Jump. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess Smash Charge. Or actually Spin Smash, let's put that on. Maybe give that a shot in this fight. Well, let me just pull out Kumbario in case there's something new. Yeah, no, these are probably just gonna be basic Uber fights. Let's try Spin Smash. Yeah, it's still pretty trash. But it only costs 1 FP, as opposed to the 3 um, Quake Hammer costs, so... I guess that's a decent trade-off. I mean, not really, but... 
No, not in this fight anyway, because it's with Quake Hammer, I could have killed them in one hit. Uh, oh boy, where, where do I go? Alright, let's go up here first. Let's see what's up here. I'll take care of you, Gola, in just a sec. Actually, I don't really need to take care of them. Mushroom, okay. I probably gotta come back to these areas and see if there are any, like, hidden star pieces. Because I'd imagine there would be. Alright, get rid of that trash dried shroom. We don't need it. Look! A hidden little temple dungeon thing. With music. What music is this? This is, this is I think, the ruin. Dried dried ruins music. Thing over here? No. Okay. This is what I like. This is what I like to see. Um. Okay. Mario, be ready. We're deep in the dungeon. I, I don't know. Which way should I go? Up or down? Up or, well, up or right? Anywhere down? No, no down. Um, so dry true, mushroom, dry true. Let me remember that. There is a warp pipe here, and a heart block, and a save block. Why? 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 What am I walking into? And you can get here straight away. Like, literally, as soon as you get the normal hammer, you can break that block and come here. So surely whatever is here can't be that difficult, right? This is like a medieval, medieval torture chamber. What the heck? Here lies the history of a mighty empire built on blood and greed and destroyed by desire. Clearly, uh, whoever wrote this didn't, uh, didn't know how to turn on the cap lock. Ah, you know what? Look, probably have to get the ultra hammer to get that, I mean, not the ultra boots to get that chain up there. Unless there's, like, a hidden block that I can jump on. No. A Mr. I sorta, don't you think? Or maybe uh, it looks kind of old. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Whoever made it was probably blind. How ironic would that be? Blind people making statues of eyes. And can only write in caps. Alright. We're gonna have to come back to that one. Maybe that chain has... There, there isn't anything to do with that chain. Maybe this is just an information room. But this room? Well, not this one. The one over here. This is what looks interesting, but can I actually... There we go. You know, let me save before I do this, before I press any buttons. I have no clue what I am walking into, and I am kind of worried that I am about to get wrecked by something. But again, if this is something you can deal with in the prologue, surely they can't... They, it, it, whatever it is, it can't be that hard, right? Okay, that just opened up the pipe. Makes sense. Let's save. And then, uh, just want to check, go look, take a look around a little bit more, make sure I'm not missing anything, like a hidden ultra shroom or something. What am I walking into? A Goomba! And... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I can't get back out. 
Let me read what the head says before I do anything. Because there was another head there. I thought I could get back out. Let me let me see what this says. Whispered in the dark. 100 floors. Ah, okay. 100 floors to delve for a place to leave their mark. This pit of trials is a century-long quest. Of all in this world, this is the ultimate test. Okay, I like this. A pit of 100 trials in Paper Mario. This is Gamer for Fun approved. I mean, I didn't approve it for it to, like, actually happen, but... Okay. Yes. Yes. But I want to see something, though. Okay, let me just save. Alright. I mean, I just saved already. If I go into this, right? What if I just go around and I don't fight that... Ah, oh, it doesn't let me actually go through. Like, what does this first fight contain, right? Just a Goomba, right? Yeah, a couple Goombas. Easy. Hey, no star points, right? Oh, okay, so it's not... Okay, so you don't go through here, that's just decoration. You go down, like in the Pit of 100 Trials in uh, TTYD. Alright, I'm not going to do this right now, but, um, but that's interesting. I like that. A lot. And again, you can do this, like, literally, you can go into that Pit of 100 Trials right off of the prologue. Now, unfortunately, I doubt that you can actually beat it, like, pre-chapter whatever, because I'm sure by the end of it, you're fighting super tough enemies that you just, you can't beat with what you get in the prologue. Like, there's just no way, you don't have super guards in this. At least I don't think we have super guards. Maybe I should try and, like, hit the B button and try super guarding. <laughs> Cause I never, I haven't tried it, so maybe it's a thing. But okay, all right, that's cool. That is really cool. I like recommend this mod just solely for that, if if nothing else. Um, there's really nothing over here. To go fight that Goomba, but it's not going to give me any star points, so no point. That, that, little, that little detour was nice. Like I said, I came back here, I, I thought maybe, like, there'd be something put here in this first area. I know there's a star piece here, so I'd have come back here eventually. I wasn't expecting that, though, like in a, like a whole hidden area. Oh, Chuck. Um, yeah, let's let's do this. How many guards patrol the hall? Uh, I don't know. Three, I think. Okay, cool. Donlin. Okay, so Merle, so Mer is just replaced by Don. Okay. Uh, should be the granddaughter. It's the same thing as the other, yeah. So Donnelly is the one that gives you the curse. Um, which is very helpful dancing curse thing. Um, how many animal outposts decorate? Uh, I don't know, three? I'm doing pretty good with these yeses. What is the name of my lovely assistant? Oh, um... 
not hot tea, is it? No, it's gotta be this one. Yeah, vanity. What have I got in my pocket? Um, I think it was a magic ring. Because that's the... Yeah, see that thing there. How many... Twi uh, I think there's four. That one I was kind of sure on. Like, 60%-ish. Okay, that's it for now. Cool. Um, Alright, so let's go back here. Heck, you could go into... No, actually you can't with Goomba. I was gonna say you could go in there with Goomba, but as soon as you get back to the village, you lose him, so... Never mind. Um, yeah, get rid of this, uh, actually I kind of want to see what the honey syrup makes in the shop, so I'm going to hold on to that. I can always get more mushrooms later. So I'm going to have to come back here anyway. Oh, and I have to get the tape. Let me get the tape. Koopa Koot. This part's already been kind of long. I might actually... What else? I just, I'm just trying to think what else I, have to, I can do. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to end this part here. I've done a lot of exciting stuff, discovered a lot of exciting things, but I'm going to end it here because I'm pretty sure it's been... It's kind of, it has to have been close to an hour I've been playing. Um... And in the next part, I'll finish up Koopa Koot's favors and uh, finish up his favors. Uh, well, what I can do for right now. And there's something else I was going to do. What was the other thing I was going to do? I was going to do something else and I don't remember what it is. Um, yeah, one, I'll, I'll remember it for next part. But uh, that's it for now, and I will see you next time.